like and subscribe in the next five seconds or Taco Bell will delete their entire menu. Wait, what? Are they actually deleting it? What? Hey, what's up guys? It's your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. And so many of you guys have been absolutely loving the videos recently and letting us know by turning that like button blue, which you should do right now. In this video, we're gonna go over what your favorite landing spot says about you. For example, if you land right here, you've probably watched our top places to land video and took our advice because this is still hands down one of the best places to land in all of existence. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed with those notifications turned on. And we are friending some of you guys that leave us a comment letting us know that you've done all of that and leave your epic ID and we'll be gifting some of you some pretty amazing skins when they come out in the item shop. And since one comment in our last video said that we don't show proof of giving you guys skins, then he wouldn't believe us. But sorry, we just don't need to brag about it and pat ourselves on the back, but here you go. So like and subscribe and get those notification bells turned on and leave your comment with your epic ID right now to get gifted a skin. You have five seconds left. No, I'm just kidding. But also guys, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because you definitely want to know all these locations. Now coming in at number 13, we have the Fortilla, or as pretty much everyone calls it, the Tortilla or Tortilla. I don't even know how to say it anymore. I mean, how can Epic think about naming something Fortilla isn't going to be instantly be nicknamed Tortilla? If this is your landing spot, it's probably only because you like to eat tacos. I mean, come on, tacos, tortillas, it makes sense. It adds up, you know, the math checks out. No, but for real, this landing spot is for the braver of the Fortnite players, because not only do you have to deal with sharks 10 times more than any other location, but also with how much loot is really here, there is all always people contesting you will pretty much never get the place to yourself it's a great place to land for anyone that can sustain a consistent heart rate of above about 170 for the duration of the time being there now another place that might make your heart rate increase is number 12 the authority authority landers we've talked about you enough i'm not even joking if you land authority every game you might need to reconsider why you play fortnite now moving on to number 11 we're going back to the southwest corner of the map for rickety rig if you land rickety rig it's probably only because you planned on going fortilla but then over 10,000 other players decided that's where they wanted to land that game too so you opt to just fly over here instead now i get it rickety rig actually has some pretty decent loot but really i don't know of many players that are landing here right now just simply because the amount of loot to amount of water that you have to traverse after you've looted maybe isn't worth it any player that lands at rickety rig secretly just loves the feeling they get of being in the calm peaceful ocean surrounded by marauders and you know deadly sharks weirdo baby shark do 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 doing all the way over to number 10 we have lazy lake or as i like to call it the lazy river because did you ever notice there isn't a lake right next to it now misty meadows would be better suited as lazy lake you know what gumbo just swap the words over the map so that the misty meadows say lazy lake and lazy lake says misty meadows okay there we go much better thank you and you're welcome epic sheesh okay so now the real lazy lake formerly called misty meadows is one of the best locations ever to land for when you're about to land right here and decide that you don't want to fight 38 people but the only problem is that you didn't realize that everyone else didn't want to fight 38 people as well so 20 of you decided to land at lazy lake aka misty meadows instead so you're all going to fight the same amount of people anyways it's a lose lose type of situation and the only way around this one is to not play the game anymore but for those of you who actually do land at lazy lake every game on purpose i just have one thing to say to you Godspeed. Now speeding over to number nine, we have Caddy Corner, or really the land of the sweats. If you're a sweaty player and like to dish it out every game, then this is probably where you land. Landing here every game has made you a seasoned veteran, and you have decided that forever and for all of eternity, you will land in this very quadrant of the map. That is, of course, until you realize that there are definitely better places to land and that there won't always be the super overpowered shotgun here waiting for you. It's okay if you don't land here every game and get the shotgun, just go somewhere else, like at the top of this mountain here and slide down into Caddy after people did all the hard work for you and it's genius i promise no one ever does it 
Now, a big brain 900 IQ genius place to land is right here. Number eight, Frenzy Farm. I've been saying for literal years now that the farms are the best place to land ever in Fortnite. Between Frenzy Farms and the Orchard, right above it, this might be the best place in the whole game. Don't tell anyone though, it'll be a den top 10 secret. Got it? Now, for those of you who have been landing here every game, you should know that it's because you're a certified genius, all right? Now, not gonna lie, Epic has us all pretty worried at the start of the season with the whole water thing but thankfully that didn't last long and this entire location is back to normal which is pretty amazing now let's talk about number seven pleasant park now landing in pleasant used to be one of the most fun things ever back in fortnite chapter one it was such a great location for some reason it just felt right with all the hills around it and the other pois the good old days you know but now we have <clears throat> this it isn't the same, but some players like to land here every game still, even though it had changed so much. If you land at Pleasant Park, you're probably the type of player that says things like, bring back the old map, and I just wish Fortnite was fun like it used to be, which aren't really bad things, but unfortunately, this is what Epic has given us, and it's what we have to deal with. But I hear you, trust me. Number six is another one that will make you miss chapter one, and that is Retail Row. Man, Retail Row has really been through the thick and thin of Fortnite maps, hasn't it? Epic just never decided whether or not they like this place on the map. Well, the players that land here can't decide either because it's one of the least dropped spots in pretty much the whole game, it feels like, a lot of the time. You don't get out of the battle bus and instantly think, oh man, let's land retail. It has such easy and available loot and takes no time to do it because that's not true. Yes, retail has a ton of loot, but it's also spread out and it does not compare well with the other locations that Epic has added recently. Don't feel bad if you land here every single game though. Just know that you're only losing games because you do. Well, sorry. I didn't mean to take it that far. I don't know where that came from. Now, let's get into our top five, guys. But before we do, as always, don't forget, we're going to be friending some of you and gifting you skins. So make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on and leave us your epic name in the comments below. Also, you have to make the like button turn blue or it doesn't count. Now for number five, let's talk about steaming stackaroos. If you land here, it's probably only because you really like to walk. This place is actually really difficult to land at because yes, you can take the funnels to get a good distance away, but really it only puts you about halfway to even frenzy farms. And a lot of the time, the circle is clear on the opposite side of the map and the water is all going in the opposite direction of here. It's a tough place to land for sure. That's why I'm nicknaming this place land of the quads because you do so much walking here that your quads are going to be massive bro jumping over to number four with your massive quads we have salty springs because everyone that is good at the game lands here i promise you if you didn't warm up for an hour and a half before landing at salty you're going to have a bad time sure it has terrible loot and an awful loot path afterwards but for some reason the sweatiest players in the game like to land here why most likely because they are just not quite brave enough to land at authority so they just land here instead now there are a few benefits to landing here though like and also because so there you go you're welcome for the advice so there you go you get the point moving on to our number three spot we have holly hedges and yeah it's just as bad as it sounds like come on guys no one actually lands here right Oh, some of you do? Okay, well, Holly Hedges is definitely one of the least popular places on the map, which I'm sure some of you that are watching this who land here every game are glad to hear, but it's for a good reason. There's such little mobility out of this place. It's crazy. Soon, though, there may be some cars that you'd be able to drive since it is so close to a major roadway, but we'll have to see. Here's what Epic should do with this location, though. They should rename it holy hedges and then make it so that if you land here, you get to automatically teleport to the final circle. Aww. Todd seems to think that is fair, and I can't say I disagree. Now, our final two locations, I bet you're wondering, but there are no locations left. Well, you're wrong, because there are some unnamed locations on the map right now that are actually more popular than any named location. The first one obviously being our number two spot, the area below Caddy Corner. Any of you that have watched our Places to Land video love this spot, but it has since become one of the most popular locations to land pretty much ever. Every single game, there are at least three teams landing here, and they're definitely isn't enough loot to go around, so it becomes a murder fest. Now, I bet you're all shaking in your boots to know what number one is. Well, I'm not going to tell you. 
Okay, fine. I'll tell you. But before we do, you guys have no idea how awesome it is that we're now at 200,000 subscribers. You have blown us away with how many of you guys are enjoying these videos. And so if you aren't subscribed yet, you should do it right now and become an OG of the channel. Also, guys, be sure to leave us that comment down below with your epic name. Do not forget so we can gift you some skins from the item shop. Okay, let's talk about number one. This spot right here. The orchard i know we already talked a little bit about frenzy farm in the orchard but this is different this spot is for big brains only you can't land here unless your iq is above 120 it's not even possible all right there's plenty of loot for a solo or a duo maybe not quite a squad but if you're in a squad you should be able to handle other locations no problem now some of the worst things about this location is that it's becoming more and more popular but Denver isn't talking about it in a video just going to make it more popular? And yes, you are right, but players that land here regularly are ready for the challenge. So what did you guys think of the list of the worst things about your favorite location and what they say about you? If we missed any popular spots, let us know down in the comments below. And as always, go check out our other awesome videos and have a wonderful day. Love, Denver.